What has inspired more than 200 people to come out early on a Saturday morning? <laughs> Hope. Hope. Hope that people from different backgrounds and different perspectives can come together in a reasoned discussion and make a change and address the obstacles to peace. All of these things are ways in which we, we, we look differently at things. Um, the um, one person's polluter is another person's right? status symbol. One person's accomplishment is another person's folly. So I pray and, and then people see it. And, and so, but, but it's not easy, I have to admit. One, one day I was praying and in the, in the Muslim day, they go down uh, with their forehead. And I went down and somebody came and grabbed me. <laughs> said, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> well, that, that was quite a good one. Because I, I was about to call 911. <laughs> Get us through some tough times. And our officers are now understanding that that goodwill that they build, you know, 364 and a half days a year uh, means a lot to the members of this community. And it means a lot to the fellow to fellow officers in our police department that do their work 99.9% uh, .9 of the time perfectly. Most refugees who come here come from like French countries uh, or Swahili countries. I don't know. Um, then they have no English, and you, I mean, for you to get a job, you really need to have some English so that you can operate very well in your job. So we provide like eight hours of ESL to our, our clients. And we, we make it a requirement for them to continue getting a, our assistance. <laughs> so it's kind of all part of a self sufficiency program. Uh, if you just see it now and we're there, you can't imagine that some of our areas of town had the second highest violent crime rate in the nation. And we said, how did that happen? How, that, how could that be <coughs> in Fort Worth, Texas? And it really took us by surprise, except for those who were working with it already. And, and what we did is we moved in that, bringing the whole community, we said, it doesn't matter whether you live in that community or not, it affects every <coughs> single one of us. So we all have to help. So all the, the community policing and all that happened, citizens on patrol, that all happened then, but it was the whole city that, if you want to look at politics right now, it's, there's so much going on. And a lot of people just say, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to see it. And I understand that, but we have to be a participant and we have to be the leader.